At Benito Juarez High School in Chicago, the librarian is the recipient of the Chicago Public Schools Department of Libraries Vital Grant. As part of this grant, the library received a set of Nook e-reader devices to provide an after-school Nook book club for students. Let's hear from the librarian. Hi, uh, my name is Cheryl Osborne. I'm the librarian at Benito Juarez. And this afternoon, the Nook Book Club at Juarez is going to meet for its second meeting. And 24, 23 students will come together, and we are discussing Staying Fat for Sarah Burns by Chris Crutcher. For, like, example, you know, rating the book, what would you give it? Ms. Osborne starts the Nook Book Club with some discussion questions. I don't know about you guys, if whether you have a favorite character, but um, I thought about that one for myself, and I obviously had some things to say about that, but that might be something to talk about as well. If you have a favorite part of the book. He stayed true to his friend even if she tried to push him away sometimes during the book because she didn't want him getting hurt. So in a way, they both cared for each other in that way. It's like they both were trying to check each other's back, even if one was weaker than the other. The discussions are lively as students talk about themes from the book and themes that interest them personally. Like one of the parts I really like was surprised was when she Eric found out that Sarah Burns didn't like have a spaghetti fall on her, that uh, her dad was abusive to her. Look at Daryl, because in one of the parts, she sends up to the bully, because she he wants her lunch money and she sends up to it to him, even though she's getting all nutty. And then she, the bully tries to get it from Eric. Didn't do anything other than like, she didn't speak or really. I think they all saw he opened up because he saw that Sarah really needed help, and he probably thought like, oh, if I was in Sarah's situation, she would help me and say like. His dad took the belly with being tough, right? Dale worked all night. You know, he's like the kids from school. They come back and Dale's working at his farm shop, right? Because they went away with that, they'll be angry. Now let's hear from a Juarez social studies teacher who is also a member of the book club. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Alfredo Peralta. I am a social studies teacher at Benito Juarez High School. I'm a part of the Nook Book Club. Um, I'm a part of the club just because I, one, I enjoy reading, and two, I see the value that comes with uh, just inspiring sort of desire and the joy of reading with a lot of our students, particularly in our demographic with lots of vocabulary issues and things of that nature, you know, bilingual, things like that. So just seeing the benefits of it and having kids really enjoy books is fantastic. Now let's hear from some students. Hi, what do you think about the Nook Book Club? Uh, I joined the Nook Book Club because I have a tendency to stick to one genre of books. So with the Nook Book Club, you can get the experience to try to read a variety of books, and it opens up your mind to many different genres of books. So I think it's a good idea to join the club. Hi, what made you, as a guy, join the book club? Well, as a guy, we have a reputation of not liking books, but me... I really love books. They're like, and I usually read books to my little sisters, so they they love the stories I read them. So that makes me a better reader, and I like a role model to them, because I'm teaching them to read better. It's because they're a grade, they're a grade above their reading, their reading level. So, book. yeah, you get me. So, so um, I joined the Nook Book Club because um, I've always really liked to read and. Even though paper bags are really my favorite, um, I think that the nooks are a really good way to just, once you finish one book, you can just go on and read other ones. They're already there in one condensed space. So it's, I thought it was really fun. Oh, well, for starters, I'm not a person who likes to read very much. You know, I'm not a book reader. But when, but when I heard about the book, you know, the librarian talk, told me about the, the book, I actually wanted to read it. And for the first two chapters, I actually got the book, and, you know, I don't really like it that much. I'm not, like, a book You mean person. the print version of the book? Yeah. Uh-huh. And so when I got the Nook, I actually wanted to read it more, 
because, you know, <laughs> probably because it's, you know, electric and all that. But in my personal view, I think the book is really good. Something that can actually make someone who doesn't like to read like me actually want to finish it to the end. So I strongly suggest reading this book. Hi, I understand that um, you and your sister read the, the same book on the Nook. How old is your sister? She's 18. And how old are you? I'm 17. And what was your experience in reading the book together on the Nook? Well, it's kind of like always. We always like, make fun of the parts that we think is interesting. And then if we don't know a word, well, she usually goes in the dictionary and find it. But the interesting part about the nook is that you just have to click the word and it kind of gives you the definition already. Oh, so you like the built-in dictionary feature? Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Thanks. And now Ms. Osborne talks about what the nooks have meant to her book club. Benita Juarez has always had a book club and, and a really strong and active book club. Um, the nooks, however, have brought even more energy or new energy to the book club at Juarez because kids are really excited about having the devices. Um, the devices are not within the means or reach of a lot of our students, um, yet you, they have this fabulous opportunity. Um, I, you know, it's, it's all an experiment. It's, it's new. It's the first time. Um, I put the nooks out there at, on a first come, first serve basis, and as it turns out, I have almost a picture perfect um, spread of students. Uh, few students in grades 9, grades 10, grades 11, 12, and, um, and almost a down-the-middle split of boys and girls. And so for discussion purposes, the, the different perspectives that all of the different age levels and genders bring is just really exciting. Clearly, the Nooks have been a real game-changer for the Juarez High School Library. Uh -huh.